What is up, YouTube? <clears throat> Real quick, gonna be making uh, a guide over my talents, keybinds, UI, add-ons, um, just about everything that I can currently think of, okay? Um, starting with my talents, this is a pretty standard rogue build on the left, pretty standard subtlety build on the right. The only thing that ever is really gonna change is whether you wanna play Trickster or Deathstalker. If you watch any of the big hot shots, every single one of them is gonna say Deathstalker is better, okay? It's preference. Um, I don't think, I, me personally, I don't think Deathstalker is that good. Um, and I'll show you why. Um, and I'm gonna show you why on Trickster as well, why I think it is good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. So when you're, when you're PVPing, right? Um, let's say you're doing battlegrounds or you're doing, you know, blitz, solo shuffle, it doesn't really matter. Um, when it comes, I'm only going to talk about Trickster right now. I don't want to talk about Deathstalker. When it comes to Trickster, all it takes is for this number right here to reach two. This is two escalating blades. Um, and then pretty much the fucking target is going to get throttled. Right, so you can do a whole cheap shot, go yada 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 yada. Um, you'll probably get two. You'll probably get three. Right, you can even get up to three. Okay. Um, once you get up to four, though, that's when your talent, or that's when your eviscerate swap it swaps over to Coupe de Gras, Coupe de Grace. Okay, um, and it does a lot of damage. Okay, um, unseen blade doing a lot of damage. Nimble Fury, doing a lot of damage, right? Um, just to show you real quick, uh, I had, um, I played in an arena and I was just sitting there pumping. Actually, let's just compare these two, okay? So I have this rogue here. He was playing Deathstalker's Mark, okay? Um, looks like it did about 1.6 million. And then that is it. There is, there is nothing else in regards to those talents on this um, sheet right here. Nothing, okay? So you're looking at 1.6 million over, I think it was like a three, four minute game, I think. Um, I know there's a way to tell it. I don't know off the top of my head though. Two minute, two minute game, it looks like, right? And then you look at mine, right? Um, Unseen Blade bringing in about four million. Coupe de Gras bringing in 3.2 million. Nimble Fury bringing in 2.8 million. Okay. I am absolutely owning with not even Coupe de Gras, but just Nimble Fury and Unseen Blade alone. Okay. Um, really, really high damage coming from these two abilities as well as Coupe de Gras. But anyways, I digress. So when you're doing the combo with Coupe de Gras, okay. You want to uh, pop your Shadow Blades, Cheap Shot, Sepsis, Shadow Dance, or uh, excuse me, well, Shadow Dance, of course, um, Secret Tech, Shadow Strike, Eviscerate. Um, that is what's going to give you your juice for Escalating Blade, okay? That's all you have to do, and I'm going to show you guys right here, okay? So, I'm going to say it again. Shadow Blades, Cheap Shot. Sepsis, Dance, Secret Tech, Shadow Strike, Eviscerate, okay? Um, reason you Secret Tech, by the way, is because Flawless Form, um, Unseen Blade, which is gonna come from um, my Shadow Strike, um, and Secret Tech, it's going to increase my finisher, and by the time I get to that Eviscerate, it's gonna be this, so these two go really, like, perfectly in hand in hand, okay? So, and you can even gouge um, as well if you want. I mean, we can gouge into a kidney. I mean, gouge, sepsis off the side, kidney, shadow strike, secret tech, shadow strike, uh, coupe de gras, just raking in numbers, cheap shot, eviscerate, cheap shot, eviscerate, okay? Um, Nimble Fury just shitting on these other targets, right? Um, but... Coupe de Gras bringing in 1.5 million, Secret Tech 2.4 million, um, just a lot of numbers, okay? Um, Unseen Blade, I only did it twice, it should have proc'd, yeah, two hits, 
bringing in 665k. Um, Nimble Fury, if you are curious, um, can I stop this? I cannot. Nimble Fury does not break um, your sap. Um, Nimble Fury, uh, backstab, shell strike, viscerate. They strike up to additional targets for uh, more damage, 50% um, of that damage while Flawless Form is up, which is here. Okay. Um, I've tested it. I've sapped somebody and attacked somebody right next to him. It did not break um, at all. Okay. And just to show you guys that combo again, so you're going to get one up. Two up. I was actually really lucky. Um, I mean, slice, it doesn't really matter. You can play Flicker Strike or Thousand Cuts. It doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Um, Flicker Strike, um, if the team has a lot of AoE or or if you're uh, if you're in, like, BG Blitz, right? Go in there, keep Faint up, right? And you're just chilling. Get those dodges in, and you can, you can get that. You can refresh your Unseen Blade. A lot so you can get those stacks just fucking going um same thing with thousand cuts right um 10 percent additional attack speed and my auto attacks have a chance to refresh it i don't know what that chance is um but both are pretty viable not gonna lie both are pretty viable so anyways gonna show you guys the combo one more time um and i know i said sepsis off to the side so sepsis is a dot um it doesn't do impact damage so if you do it right, you can sepsis off to the side um, to get that damage going um, so that you don't have to put it in your stun window. Is there a single target on me? I didn't show you guys on. Uh, oh, nice. There's one. Here's one. Still can't sap it. So blades, gouge, sepsis off to the side, kidney, dance, shadow strike, secret tech, shadow strike. Um, eviscerate, and I, it's just gonna do so much damage, okay? Big damage from Coop. Cheap shot, eviscerate, cheap shot, eviscerate, okay? <clears throat> Coop de Gras doing 1.5. Um, Unseen Blade doing 676. Uh, no Nimble Fury because um, we don't have another target right next to us. Okay, so that is Trickster, okay, and I prefer Trickster. Um, you can also go, well, real quick, when you're playing Trickster, you can also go some other builds. So if you don't, if you don't need without a trace, right, you can go into a one-shot build, which is um, you spec into Cold Blood, um, and with Cold Blood, you can get 2.5 mil um, Coupe de Gras, like, you are absolutely pumping, okay? Um, just to show you guys, uh, Death Stalker now. I'm gonna change. Uh, I'll just change over here. I'm gonna change over here. Uh, I'm not. I'm literally not gonna change anything else, okay? I'm gonna explain how it works and why I don't like it. Um, so Death Stalker's mark. Um, you have to put. So when you Shadow Strike from Stealth or Shadow Dance, it puts three um, stacks onto your target, okay? The fourth stack is where your big eviscerate comes into with Darkest Knight, okay? Um, it, it crits, deals 60% additional damage, and applies three stacks of marks again, and gives you energy. The only problem with this is, is that you have to be um, most likely in combat before you even start, whereas with Trickster... You can, you can get your two stacks and, you know, fucking go to another base. You know, you can go get a re. Um, you can go defend a base, wait for somebody to pull up. If somebody pulls up, you know, good luck, okay? Because uh, you're going to shit on them. With Deathstalker, right, um, you, you have to get these stacks going before you can even get any benefit, okay? And if I, like, click off or, you know, if I need a swap to somebody else or something, right, and I hit them with this... Now my marks are over here, right? And I don't have any marks over here, and this could have been the kill target, right? It It is a very janky thing, man, and I do not like it. But I digress. I will show you guys the rotation um, that everybody is advocating for. So you have to Shadow Strike into a Rupture. That gets one rid of one point, okay? Um, Shadow Strike, Secret Tech. That gets our Shadow Strike, Rupture. Cheap shot, 
Um, Shadow Strike, Secret Tech, Sepsis, Eviscerate, Cheap Shot, Eviscerate. That very, very last Eviscerate is where all your damage is coming from. Like, but like I said, you have to open with Shadow Strike into a Rupture um, to even get any value. So, going to Shadow Strike, Rupture, Cheap Shot, Shadow Strike, Secret Tech, Sepsis, Eviscerate, Cheap Shot, Eviscerate, Cheap Shot, Eviscerate. And that last one is where all your damage comes into with um, Death Stalker's Mark. If I did it with uh, Shadow Blades, I did not. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the rotation. Okay. Um, so, when doing that, right? There's a few things that I don't like it. You can get stopped if you open up with it. Um, you can't hit any other targets during that time, right? Um, the only way you can hit them is by pressing uh, Phantom Knives. Because if you hit them with a Shadow Strike, right? Your, your stacks will then move to a different target. Um, whereas with Trickster, you get those stacks, you hold those stacks. They're internal, right? Deathstalker could be better if the marks were internal. Um, but, you know, they're not. So, whatever. I'll show you guys full rotation now. So, uh, Shadow Strike, Rupture, Cheap Shot, Tic Tac, Sepsis, Eviscerate, Cheap Shot, Eviscerate. A 1.2 email. 1.2 mil eviscerate, okay? Um, I'm not as fast as, you know, the people who have been playing this spec. Um, I, I play Trickster, but, I mean, that is the rotation right there. Um, let's see. So, eviscerate. Fuck. Where'd he go? I have to wait until this rupture stops ticking. Uh, where is it? There we go. So, this rate doing not too bad. Secret Tech, Shadow Blade, Sepsis Rupture, Deathstalker's Mark. Okay, only bringing in 526k. Um, Fatal Intent, um, and then that does like 20% of like some percent and corrupt the blood. Not really bringing in a lot of damage based off of Rupture, right? Um, if you compare it to what we were doing earlier, um, not really the best, you know? Like, I was, sh well, that was that was with Nimble Fury, right? But you still understand. Coop, um, Unseen Blade. Unseen Blade is doing more than Deathstalker's Mark, okay? Um, and it's not as clanky, you know? You can keep your stacks on you um, while you're playing, you know? You can go hit a base with stacks up. Um, defend a base, you know, everything. Going over my PvP talents, you guys know the drill, Smoke Bomb, Shadowy Duel, the only thing I ever change is Distracting Mirage. Distract Mirage is so strong, um, but occasionally I will go Silhouette, Silhouette being very strong. I know some people play Thieves Bargain, I'm not a fan, because it reduces your damage by uh, 10%. Why are, we're sub rogue, dude, why are we reducing our damage? Oh, well, I need 20% cooldown back. No, you don't. Okay, I don't. Okay, and but I don't also get in combat as much. You know, I'm chilling. Okay, um, you can't play this. Meh, pretty bad. Veil into assassin warrior type comp hunter. I don't know. So, but it's very good. Distract mirage all the way, dude. Dismantle not too bad. Death from above. I do play on cart maps. Do love me some death from above. Okay. Um, this is my talent stuff. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. These are all my keybinds that you guys have always um, seen. This, this is my player frames. You guys can see here, edit mode, subs world UI. Um, I will put this down in the description, okay? Buffs, everything, all the bars off to the side. I keep them hidden. Everything's pretty normal. Um, arena frames down in the bottom left. Um, because I use uh, S Arena, I think it is. Um, pretty standard group frames. Um, I like my kick right, here, my set focus right here because the cast bar for the enemy will show up right there. Like, let's set focus on this guy, and let's say I'm playing right. It's right here, and I have my team player frames right here. Um, give me a second. I will show you guys a picture. 
of what it looks like, actually. So, let's see. Yeah, so this is what this is what we're rocking with. Um, let's say right here. So I have my set focus, main target, um, my U, my S or whatever it is. Thunder durations right here. Trinkets. Okay, very simple. Um, see my team stuns. You can get some extra stuff. I try and play a little bit more minimal. I can see stun DRs on the dragon as well right there um i think i ended up swapping over to something else later um couldn't couldn't really tell you to be honest but i think i'm pretty sure i use s arena yeah s arena um diminish diminish is a good one um it shows you uh stun drs so if i was to hit this guy stun him let's see if it let's see if it shows up i don't know if it will on a target enemy. Okay, it doesn't. Usually it would show up like right here in a little window. Um, usually, right? And then if I had a set focus with some uh, DRs, they would be right here. Some other add ons. Uh, don't worry about my battle pit stuff. I'm a freak. Battleground enemies. That's what shows all the enemies. Big debuffs. Um, that's what you see when, like, in that video. Um, that's what you can see. Um, like right here, right? Big debuff, you know, whatever shout this is, big shout. Um, faint over here, okay? And I know this looks like a lot, dude, okay? I get it. Um, I also have uh, nameplate cooldowns. I can see that he doesn't have trinket here, no sweep for 40, uh, no vanish for 30, step 17, uh, sprint for 30, right? I can see all their cooldowns. I know it looks like a lot, okay? But if you just break it down, if I was to remove all this shit here, that would reduce some. This stuff over here, like I don't really, I don't really need this over here. You know, it's a lot, of, a lot of clutter. Okay, um, but for the most part, it is pretty clean. Okay, I'd be like, how the fuck is this guy saying it's clean? Listen, I've always had a clean UI. Yes, it does get a little crazy. Okay, but for the most part, I can see that he's casting. My kick is on CD, okay? Regardless, I digress. I only have two weak wars um, currently. One, Escalating Blade. Um, I like that it shows me the number right here so I don't have to look up top right. And then I use a Rogue Subterfuge um, weak aura. And I really like this one because it, I, I, had a, I have a bad habit of when I leave stealth, I instantly shadow dance, okay? Well, I'm, I'm, I basically might as well just get rid of subterfuge, right? Um, so now I have a little bar that tells me how much time of, of stealth abilities that I have, then it falls off, then I need a dance, okay? Um, this is just more uptime, better usage of, you know, cooldowns and whatnot. Um, I do know that, you know, playing with shadow dance, um, it increases my damage by 30, but there are times where, you know, all I'm doing is, you know, cheap shot, cheap shot, you know, right? Normally, like if I was bad, you know, last week or actually yesterday, I would be spamming dance and, you know, cheap shot, cheap shot, cheap shot, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, some things I would definitely rec recommend is setting a set focus um, keybind, right? I kind of forget I have it sometimes. I need to get used to using it. Um, but... Just setting a set focus keybind. So let's say I'm pulling up. Let's say, you know, let's let's mark this guy a skull. And what you know, kill target is fucking square. I'm going crazy. Um, you know, getting my dots going on, just chilling. Uh, this dude's getting ready to cast. I can go like this, kick him, okay? Dance, set focus, cheap shot, dance, and then I send my go on him, right? And just shit on him. Step focus keybinds, very good. You know, step kick, um, set focus blind, set focus kidney. I also have step, uh, set focus cheap shot, uh, sap. Um, I have a few set focuses, right? Very good. Um, so yeah, let's see. We went over talents, went over keybinds, a little bit of my add-ons, um, just to show you guys what it is again. Um, see if I can't break it down. 
Better grind enemies shows everybody over here in my videos. Big debuffs shows debuffs of target. Diminish shows DRs, nameplate cooldowns, shows what they have under their um, HP bar. S Arena, my Gladius for Arena. True GCD, that's just for you guys. Um, all that is is it just shows my abilities, um, but it also shows like enemy abilities. Um, like right here, right? This guy just pressed Barrage, Barrage, Arcane Missiles, Barrage. Wow, Arcane Blast. Arcane seems really hard. Wow, cool. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, I'll answer you guys in the comments. Like I said, I will put my UI in the description. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.